take a look and these are the top 10 worst movies of 2010. Now, I'm not doing any of these top 10 lists in any kind of order because I did the two, the top 10 best movies of 2011 first, then the top 10 worst movies of 2011, then the top 10 best movies of 2012, and then the top 10 worst movies of 2012, and now the top 10 best and worst movies of 2011. Now, a couple of these movies have gotten really high ratings from other reviewers on YouTube, but in my opinion, I just really didn't like them. So here are my top 10 worst movies of 2010. So, coming in number 10 of the worst movies of 2010, in my opinion. So please don't post any of your comments, because I really don't want them. But, coming in number 10 of the worst movies of 2010 is... I've just learned not to trust Disney anymore, with that cheese factor just really, really like clogging up this movie. It had absolutely awful acting, it was really cheesy at parts, like really cheesy. I wouldn't watch this movie again if I had to, like if I was chained up to a wall and uh, my teeth were being pulled out by Dr. Octopus. I still, I still wouldn't watch this movie again. I, there's no way, no way. Movie number nine is... Now, this movie is kind of like, meh, the entire time. Now, I shouldn't rely on a movie to be like that the entire time. The acting was horrendous. The script was really, really terrible, and it had really weird editing. Like, all of a sudden, some guy, he's, like, walking across the hall, and then there's, like, fire, like, throwing at him, and then all of a sudden, he'll just be walking across the hall again, just, just like that. It's probably the weirdest scene in the movie. It's such a weird movie. Don't see it. Like, we can never trust video game-based movies again. It's... It's gone now. All our trust that used to be, like, the, the Mortal Kombat movie, those type of movies, they're just gone now. And number eight is... Oh, Jack Black has been funny. I've seen him in funny movies. I've laughed at the funny things that he said, but with Gulliver's Travels, I was just bored the entire time. This movie was terrible. It was really cheesy. I never want to hear one of those stupid songs again. If you just want to see Jack Black and a bunch of other really ridiculous people in really ridiculous costumes dancing and singing cheesy lines, a cheesy song, then go ahead and enjoy your movie. But for like the rest of the 99% of the world, we don't want to see it. So coming in number seven, is. The main villain in this movie was just horrendous. It was ridiculous. I was watching the movie and I was like, this is really who they picked for the really, what, what's her name, like Kitty Galore? That's the name of the movie, Cats and Dogs 2, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. Like this movie just blew my mind. It was like, really, this is what they have these days. I was just like, I'm done, people, get out. This is a terrible movie not see this movie in theaters and maybe it would enhance the like the experience or anything but I'm not I don't care really it's a terrible movie really really cheap looking and it's just really crappy CGI and terrible voice acting and terrible scripts and eh, eh, it's a bunch of blasts so coming in number six is what happened to the rock like, seriously, when he was back in those cool movies, I was like, oh, cool, you're really tough, you're really awesome, and then I see him dress in this big pink butterfly suit, and I'm like, y you're better than this, I hope. Like, this is, I I don't know what to say with this one, it's just terrible, terrible script. It, try it tries to be one of those emotional, really stupid movies that no one cares about, and... It doesn't way too well. It's really stupid. It's really terrible. It's really ridiculous. Some of the jokes are funny. It's, it's, it's just so, it's just so stupid. I mean, I, I was watching this movie and seriously, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just blown away at how stupid this movie was. It was ridiculous. Do not check it out under any circumstances. So coming in number five is... I'm sure this movie is a lot higher than a lot of other reviewers' lists, but this is, it's not as horrible as the next four, obviously. This, I was just, I was watching it, I'm just like, this is ridiculous. It's not funny, it's really stupid, it has terrible acting. Brendan Fraser is like the weirdest actor ever to be on this planet, and I'm not kidding here. It's he's so weird, it's ridiculous, it's cheesy, it, the dialogue is it's just horrible. And so, that's why this definitely gets number five. So coming in number four is...
Now, this movie was more of a complete disappointment for me than really, really horrible. I mean, I read the book, I loved the book, I watched the movie, it was horrible. It has terrible dialogue, absolutely horrendous, horrendous, terrible acting. Like, I, seriously, I was watching, I, I know I, I say this a lot, but seriously, this movie, it was horrible. It was absolutely, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's nothing like the book. They changed so many elements. If you've watched the movie and haven't seen the book, guess what? The kids are supposed to be 12. 12. In this, they're like 13. And, oh uh, no, 16. And they look nothing like the characters in the book. It's, I... I was excited for this movie. It was like one of my most anticipated movies. Like I, I saw a little, the little trailer in 2008. I saw the trailer and it showed uh, Percy Jackson going up in the elevator. I'm like, oh, cool! This is gonna be awesome. I guess not. So coming in number three is. I watched the original movie and I was like, oh cool, they could do really well with a sequel with cool CGI and like really better characters and stuff and like great dialogue and maybe get some good acting. But when I saw that Sam Worthington was going to be in it, I was just like, Pfft. really? Because, I mean, Sam Worthington, we all know that he's an absolutely horrendous actor. He wasn't horrible in Avatar, but in this, you're just, you're just, you're just like, you're done. You're, you were terrible back in the day. You're terrible now. You're never gonna get better. I don't even know what, what the heck to do. I mean, he's awful. And then, you mix in some really generic characters, really terrible CGI, really awful battle scenes, and just really, it's this movie is really boring. How can they, how can, I, I'm, I'm, like, my mind is blown right now, is how can they take such a cool story with all these medieval characters and, like, the Scorpion, and they have so many really, really cool characters, they have Zeus and all of that, and then they make it in this big movie, and it's just the most boring thing since Hamlet. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrendous. It's coming in number two. is. Just like 99% of the population, yes, I agree with all of them. This movie is absolutely horrible. It's horrendous. I was watching this movie, and I seriously wanted to walk out of the movie theater. I was excited for this movie. I love the cartoon. I, I don't know with this one. It's just... It's just I, I don't know what they were thinking to make these such generic characters. It's insanely boring. It has ridiculous dialogue and everything in it was just it was just, it was just terrible. Like, you name it, this movie has it. It's absolutely terrible. It's nothing, nothing like like it, like nothing like the TV show. Like some people were like thinking like. If this is the movie, then the TV show must be terrible. The TV show's great. Definitely check that out. It's a little weird, but it's great. Don't see this movie, people. Don't. It got on my number two, and now here's my number one. And guys, if you've seen any of my reviews, any of them, you will know this movie. Because I have compared this movie to so many other horrible movies. Almost every horrible movie that I review, this one I'm, I'm comparing it to. So... My number one worst movie of 2010 is... That movie is definitely and absolutely Skyline. Now, Skyline is just so bad. It's the epitome of crap. It is. Whenever I think of a bad movie, Skyline pops into my head. It has absolutely horrendous acting. The dialogue is really, really, really laughably bad. It's really boring, too. It has terrible special effects. I rated it. It got a 1 out of 10. Totally deserved it. It's... It's... Just, it's so bad. It's the worst movie I have ever watched in my life. It definitely deserved this. And so, this is Pigalong, signing off.